Master Proxy, thank you for your call. Have you found out the reason for the blackouts? Though it is just speculation at this point, I believe so. I reviewed the blueprints for the Ballet Twins and discovered the building's power supply solution is quite sound. It can prevent large-scale power outages. What's more, there are independent power stations underneath the building, which is why it was able to maintain its power supply even after it was engulfed by the hollow. So it does have a separate power supply system. Wait, in that case, the reason for the blackout must be an issue with the power supply below the building. That is the logical conclusion. But it is not possible to determine the exact cause of the power failure from the building plans alone. Fortunately, the maintenance file contains solutions in case of power failure. Both buildings of the Ballet Twins have their own separate central control rooms and emergency generator rooms. Not only can these identify the cause of the malfunction, but they can also restore power to the buildings by switching them over to the backup power system. Looks like our next goal is clear. I shall send you the locations of the central control rooms and the generator rooms. Victoria Housekeeping is ready to depart at your behest. According to our previous investigation, we must complete the following steps to restore power. First, investigate the cause of the power outage at the control room. If the issue cannot be easily fixed, we must switch the building's power supply mode to the backup system. Therefore, we must split into two groups, one to operate the central control room, while the other team activates the backup ether generator at its room. Operating the building's electrical circuits in the control room might involve some complex procedures. I believe Sir Lycon would be the best suited to the task. As for the generator room, the main task is to simply move the generators and raw ether materials. If it's physical labor like moving things, I can help. Moving stuff or having to mess around with circuits? Tough choice. One strains the body, the other strains the mind. Nah, I want the generator room. Being grouped with Corin means I won't have to mind my manners. <coughs> Ellen. Despite the somewhat uncouth rationale, it's actually a sensible plan, considering the balance of combat strength between the two teams. Balance of combat strength? So who's really the strongest in Victoria Housekeeping? I'll stay with you, Sir Lycon. Very well. Everyone, move out. Please wait for us in the generator room, all right? Yeah. Uh, Miss Helen, please wait up! The central control room is on the left. We should head out as well. Let's go, Belle. going on? under the doll. It's the one that was chasing us earlier.
that? The flashlight from that doll came in handy. Everyone, the central control room is up ahead. But there seems to be a storeroom with supplies on the left. This is... Amateurs. 
Leave it to me, Sir Rico. Rina, please get some rest. Trying to hold. Saving advantage. Go now, child. I didn't expect the central control room to be invaded by ethereals. Sir Lycon, is the equipment all right? The backup power lights on the console are still on. I shall begin an inspection at once. Hmm? Strange. What is... What's wrong, Lycon? My apologies. I seem to have caused a misunderstanding. I was talking to myself just now. Actually, I have good news. The central control room is functioning normally. As long as the emergency generator room is operational, power will be restored promptly. There's just one thing that concerns me. From the information here, it does not appear that the underground power station is malfunctioning. Hmm. So what caused the blackout then? It's unclear. There is another central control room in Tower B. Perhaps the power went out because of something there. However, we'll only know once we go through the atrium. Master Proxy, please guide Ellen and Corrin to the generator room and complete the preparations needed there. Allow me to switch the power supply to backup mode. Reconnected to the building security system. Night vision mode reactivated. Allow us to escort you over. Just come to me when you're ready to go. Let's go meet up with Korn and Ellen when you're ready. Are you ready? Don't worry, dear guide. You can come back any time afterward. <laughs> it's us! Let's go! Here! <laughs> Smell you later! 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 Uh, Master Proxy, you're back! That was such a boring wait. Come on, we'll talk on the way. Corin and I have made some discoveries, like... L like how the generator room is actually pretty close! That's terrific. Let's head there now. Those troublesome ethereals along the way have been taken care of. This is the generator room. Miss Ellen and I were here just now. There's an empty space. After conducting a simple inspection, I found that the energy module is missing. So this empty space is where the fuel goes. There is a spatial fissure in the elevator ahead. 
High ether activity reaction detected in the connected space. Hmm? Maybe the ether fuel is stored on the other side of the fissure. Corin, Ellen, I'll leave the ethereals in the elevator to you. Ethereals. Let's make this short. Ellen seems pretty enthusiastic today. I just don't want us to get surrounded in this narrow space. More ethereals! Wow, this is even more crowded than carrying a gear baby. Baby? Oh, Miss Helen's classmate? Take over, Corrin. The spatial fissure is one way. Identifying return route. This place is way darker than the rest of the building. Is that ether fuel? I'll take care of moving the fuel. You're so reliable, Corrin. We'll take care of navigation. Let's use night vision mode to find a way through. Time to borrow the eyes of this building again. Use night vision mode to find a way through. this field me. Hey, Bell. Let's lend a hand. Returning Fisher located. Let's hurry back and get that generator running again. Let's get the fuel on the generator. Nothing after all. All right. Great job. Good work, everyone. Bell, let's contact the control room.
Ah, wonderful. You've made contact. How's the situation at the generator room? There were some slight hiccups, but we got it done. Copy that. Please press the switch. I'll be here to monitor the power. The lights came on! Power to the building is now gradually being restored. To prevent the control room in Tower B from affecting the power supply, I have isolated the power supply for Tower A. Let's meet up in front of the atrium and head to Tower B. Hopefully, we'll find more information about your friend once we arrive. The building's lights are coming back on, but it'll take some time. Master Proxy, the nearby gate is now open. Rina and I will head over to you at once. Night vision mode is disabled due to a switch in the power supply. Use the lights to stop these guys. Avoid them. We shouldn't get distracted now. still not been restored? Master Proxy, I apologize for my late arrival. Ellen, Corin, thank you for your hard work. That's the passage to the atrium. Now that we're all here, let's charge. Master will surely be grateful, too. Ah, oh, don't mention it. Huh? Over there! What's that? Huh? That's... Hmm? Do you recognize this backpack? Yeah, that definitely belongs to Rain. So surely has been here. There might be some clues inside. Master. 
by the music. It seems someone is trying to use ethereals against us. Did Rain do this? No, he couldn't. There's people here besides us. But who are they? Uh, thanks for that just now. Ellen, are you okay? She needs help. It's nothing. She's just asleep. So fussy. <sighs> it doesn't appear that they'll be waking up anytime soon. We should get them out of the hollow. Good, you're back. Are you and Eos okay? No injuries? Don't worry, we're fine. My apologies, Master. As I was still processing hollow data, I did not detect the approaching enemy's heat signals in time. It's not your fault, Fairy. Just keep processing. Thank you for trusting in me, Master. First an ethereal in the atrium, and then a bunch of unidentified armed individuals show up? I have a feeling they're connected. Looks like things with rain aren't that simple. I wonder what Victoria Housekeeping thinks about all this. We only told them we were looking for our friend. So, what do we do now? Looks like we'll have to talk to Victoria Housekeeping first. Probably so. Things have taken an unexpected turn. If they think we're deliberately keeping secrets, it'll be harder to work with them. I want to go check on Ellen, too. If she hadn't acted in time, Eos and I would have been in serious danger. You're right. We should definitely thank her. Well, Ellen seems to really like candy, and we did just buy a bunch. How about we give her some? It's not a very expensive gift, but it'll at least show our appreciation.